What's up, everybody? Welcome back to this episode of Bravely Default. Uh, last episode, we made our way to Lontano Villa to rescue the Caldician King who was kidnapped. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're still doing that. Um, yeah, not gonna lie, I was expecting like a boss fight at the end of the last episode. I mean, we technically got one, but not what I was expecting. Anyway. Oh, okay, I'm down here now. Oh yeah, that's right, we, we're, we're chasing into his airship. Heinkel! This is your answer? And still you'd call yourself a knight? As daughter to a true knight? I know their pride is staked upon fair and honorable combat. Kinda is. Release your hostage! Then stand and face us! No more running, coward! Ooh. Ah. You invoke your father after betraying him? <laughs> and he still He's just headed walks for the off. airship! That makes no sense. Why should he flee? His aim is the Vestal, not the key. He's baiting us? It's a trap. Still, we have to give chase. We'll lose him and the ship. Well, I'm game to brave a trap. I'm following you. Onyes, let's go! Right. Ah, good. You came. You're a bold lot, if not a smart one. This ship is a prison you entered willingly. Nowhere to run now, save down. Quickly. Really, I must thank you for taking the bait so eagerly. You're welcome. It's earned you a lavish cruise through the clouds, Vestal. And for your friends, a career as ballast. You're a prisoner here, same as us. No more tricks, Heinkel. A knight without chivalry is a common bully. I'll see you stripped of that title here and now. And take it for yourself. You wouldn't test your elders, girl. I thought to bring you home in chains, but no. All but the Vestal will end here as dew upon my blade. You'll die with the rest, traitor. Damn. Oh, he got buddies with them. How rude. Oh, these are the archer guys. I don't like these guys. Okay, well, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna take these guys out, um... Just immediately. Wait, group casting? Oh yeah, that's why I bought a uh, blizzard in between episodes. At least I think I did. I don't know, it's been a while. Sure, why not? And the idea you attack the other one. Iron clad, what does that do? Physical defense, oh that's fine. Oh you I'm gonna do a lot. What? what? Okay then. So you just gonna... Huh. Maybe I gotta take him out with ranged at attacks. Hmm. That could be. Okay, then let's try that. Because he didn't seem to block the fire. Wait. Alright, and, um. Let's see, wait, yeah. Let's just. Lightning. And you can just attack him. Oh, he's weak to lightning. Oh, that's good for me. Okay. Also, hold on a second, guys. I gotta put my phone on vibe right here.
Sorry about that. Anyway, so that. You can, um... Hang up. Hang. Heal up, ring the bell. Well, Adia, excuse me. And, uh, let's see. Does she still have... Yeah, I'm gonna see how much health he, this guy's got. I think, um... Ah, uh, darn it. Ominous. Like the Black Mage. Have like 1,500. Oh, this guy's got like 2,400. Okay. We barely done 500. Not even. Rude. Okay. Well, uh, let's just keep blessing him with magic while everyone else um, just attacks. See, this is, yeah, heal, okay. Also, I keep forgetting, like, about this, you know, group casting thing. I don't need to use the brave, um, as often as I did. Which, you, you, you feel like I, oh. Oh, I'm an idiot. You just default, yeah. Should have done the lightning. Yeah. Wow, 57 is considered critical. I mean, he did boost his, um. Okay, wait, hold on a second. Uh, do I have one that buffs me? Has a chance of failure. Let's try it. How is that not a critical? Well, chance of failure just basically means I I take damage, huh? I don't think that's like fair. Oh, at least. I gotta like try and keep an eye on who I'm selecting here. There we go. Actually, because he, um... Yeah, we're just gonna do this. Because he's basically already practically dead. One more hit. I don't know. This one should finish it, though. There it goes. Alright. Damn! That's a lot of EXP! That's a lot of money! Damn! Felt like you should have just gone up to 400. Felt like that should have been a nice round number. I found gauntlets. I know who I'm giving those to. And this is where we get the, uh, Night Class, right? Which I immediately know who I'm giving that to. Yep. Oh, Astro. Excuse me. The fact that it shows her is hilarious. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, you kind of killed the people who were part of it. Me? I can't drive this thing. What? You're a Sky Knight, aren't you? Only Heinkel and the other officers knew how to pilot the ship. Oh, that's a terrible plan. Idea. Might I ask you something? What is the name of this vessel? What? Who cares about that? And how are you so calm? The Echelon, Galleon class airship, am I correct? Yes, but how? Is that in your book too? Indeed it is. Let me have a go at steering. Thank you, Magical Fortune Count. Oh, you have no memory. When would you have. Ah, so this goes here. That gets turned like so. Then we just. Thank you, magical book. Of course we are. I'm a crack pilot, apparently. <laughs> now find something to hold on to! We're still gonna crash! Right? Yeah? Yeah, well, we basically crashed. Okay, well that was, um, that was an adventure. <laughs> okay, she can be, she can be the knight. Yeah. Alright, two. Sure, use knight commands. Oh, okay. So it's not actually like Tink Tink. Okay. Now I gotta make sure I buy her at like actual, um, like a, like a shield or something. Like I have nothing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Can I not equip the iron knuckles? Uh. Huh. Okay, never mind. I thought that'd be a good weapon for. Uh, let's see. No special effects. What do they do? Oh, yeah, okay, just give me extra defense. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna have to, like, give him a shield or something. And... Probably some actual, actual tanky armor. Although I don't know if like the armor she wears when she becomes a knight, if that's um enough. I don't know. feel like I gotta change that up. Yep. Let me stay the night. Got a lot of money. Yeah, I I did some level one in between the episodes. Um, just a little bit, and I actually got a decent amount of money from it. Sorry, I should probably save just in case. There we go. Right. Now we can also see, like, if we get any new spells. Well, nope, that's basically all we got. Okay. Dang it. Alright. Any more stuff for me to buy? Yeah, I did a lot of shopping in between episodes, too. Okay. I feel like we'll be able to wait for those for a little bit. Okay. Bye. Yep. 
Kind of like I gotta, gotta get a buckler. Okay. And a helm. Let's see. The pen three, one, four, one. Hmm. Not any of these. Okay. Hmm. Okay then. Wait, how much does this one move actually? Oh, good defense. Okay, I have leather armor, but can I buy something else? Okay, let's try a le uh, linen cuirass. Equip. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it doesn't seem to affect anything. Alright. Well, let's go talk to the king. The kingdom of Kaldisla owes you all a vast debt. I thank you from my heart of hearts. You... More than anyone, tis. Really? Him? A nightmare was visited upon you and your home, and still you rose up to defend ours. I'm certain your feats have earned, Owen, a peaceful rest. If you are willing, I would gladly see you take up his sword. Will you continue to keep this land safe, son? You honor me, your highness, but I cannot accept. I've promised on yes that I'll join her on her journey. Kaldisla shall be poorer for losing you. Know that you will ever have a home here. That's a generous offer. The Eternian airship is yours to use as you will. Take it with my blessing. Aw, sweet. There's not a man in the kingdom able to pilot it anyway. <laughs> uh, I think he knows. Unless he was unconscious. I leave the matter of that horrible chasm to you. I have faith you'll see it unmade. May the crystals keep you in your journey. That's a weird thing to say. I feel like, like guide my journey or something. Okay. Yeah, the way he laughed, I feel like he knew, like, oh yeah, they have someone who can pilot it. But I'm not gonna mention that. Wink. Okay. So now that all that's taken care of, I guess we gotta go back to the ship. Seems I've found a reason to come along. Yeah, there it is. Now, my ladies, all you need do is simply speak the word, and I shall whisk you off to the very ends of existence. And you're really sure that wasn't just a fluke before? Rest assured, my dear, I never fail to properly escort a lady. <laughs> On yes. Will you tell us why they were chasing you? They want to capture her, obviously. The Sky Knights are a branch of the Eternian forces. The Duchy of Eternia has put forth an agenda of anti-crystallism. Anti-crystallism? A new way of thinking, based upon the idea of a society no longer dependent upon the crystals. 
It brands the Crystal Orthodoxy as a heretic faith, and the Vestals its minions. It was the philosophy I was raised upon. When the Chasm appeared, every one of the Eternian forces was given the order to capture the Vestals. They said the Vestals and the Crystals they tend were the sinkhole's cause. That's not possible! Agnes has been fighting this whole time to fix what happened to Narende. I know. I'm sorry. You've nothing to apologize for. Actually, like, forget, All of forget. this paints the duchy in a suspicious light, don't you think? Perhaps they know more of the chasm's true cause than they let on. I cannot imagine we've seen the last of them. If any of you wish to go, do it now. Mm. I'll not blame you. I'm staying with you. I just told the king as much. I'm in as well. I need to see for myself whether my people are right or wrong. And playing escort is my job. I'll not cede it to anyone. If none of you will listen to reason... Oh, Anya. This is so exciting, Anya. You're finally headed back to the Wind Crystal side. Yes. To Anshine, the land of sand and time, and to the Temple of Wind. Anshine, the land of sand and time? What's it like there? Sandy. Like an oasis in a vast desert beyond the sea, we make southeast of here. Why is regions like of sand? Like, um... Always seem to have like, like the weed, like the hidden sand of the Nardo is in the land of wind. I don't get it. Wait, I get to control the echelon. Switch between sand and flying. That said, you probably want to steer clear of the oceans in their water state. <laughs> yeah, you do need the uh, dark as well. Oh, wait, we need a party chat about and chime. <clears throat> so, Agnes, refresh my memory. I need your joke, by the way. <laughs> Which way to Anshine? He, he, she just said southeast. Uh, yes, it's southeast. Ah, will this course serve or southeast, please? Is that what he? That doesn't answer the question, Agnes. Hmm. My oh dear, I'm afraid I have no recollection to go by. I need reliable directions or... What should I do? The innkeep said southeast and nothing more. I think I see what happened. I'm gonna vote. She means southeast of Caldiza, specifically. Aye aye. What sort of place is it? Anchime. It's uh, covered in a vast desert and hot, as though it was always midsummer. Yeah, deserts tend to be. Well, that sounds like the complete opposite of where I was born. Hmm. There's all sorts of places out there. Is this your first time leaving, leaving Caldissa, Tiz? <coughs> it is. What about you, dear? Hmm? Oh, I was a foreign sky knight. I've flown all over the world. What have you seen? Oh, lots of places. Eternia. Caldissa. Caldissa. <laughs> so you haven't flown around the world at all, have you? <laughs> Alright, you're probably better than me. The world is vast, my friends. The countries are perpetual summer, others are winter. I know the feeling. Verdant lands rich in water, entire kingdoms built on volcanoes. Nations hidden in forests. That sounds amazing! Oh, so I'd imagine. I have no memory. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, look, think of all the beautiful places we could visit. It's like, yeah. But I don't know they actually exist because I have no memory. What? You're just guessing. <laughs> oh, the world is vast. Keep that vague and you're sure to be right. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And chimes. Command? Or gourmet? Anyone else hungry? And yes, what sort of food is Anchime fo known for? Hmm? Oh, I'm afraid I rarely left the temple, so I can't say. But when I passed food on my way to Kozizla, it was out of the fugitive. Ah, well just tell us what you've eaten then. 
Mmm, I seem to recall a great deal of Aunt Chinese cuisine being spicy. Yeah, I kind of figured. One bite and I felt as though I was spewing flames. I broke into a full body sweat. That sounds intense. Leave it to desert people to develop a taste for searing heat. <laughs> I'm sure the women know that's fiery and... What's this about sweets? Any cakes and things? Ah, I nearly forgot. I had the most curious delicacy in a port on the inner sea. Yes, yes. It was... Ice cream that... that stretched? Hmm? Stretchy ice cream. That sounds so weird. I can't wait. Weird stretchy ice cream. A deal's coming for you. Full speed ahead. Temperament. Fiery and temperament. <laughs> uh, I like how everyone was talking over him. Probably because it sounded like he was going to make a oh, sex joke. But he's like, no, I meant temperament. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay. We gotta keep going. Keep it going. Get off. <laughs> so where exactly are we trying to go here? Ah, maybe that temple right there. Ah, we can't get to it, can we? Now we can. We have to ever see, like, find a way. Oh, yeah. We have to best a dock here, and go the long way around, basically. Sit and stay are tricks for dogs. Oh, we finally done with the prologue. We've arrived in Ansheim. Still no wind. Are these desert places normally supposed to be windy? Typically, yeah. When they're the sight of the wind crystal they are, this stillness shouldn't be possible. The wind carried all manner of blessings to this land in days past. It was the kingdom's lifeblood. And the woe, technically. I see. All the more reason to hurry, then. Which way to the temple? From here, we need Ooh. only head... Uh, we ought to make for... Uh, which way is it? Uh, Ignore anything she says. Anya's raises getting lost to an Art form. Tell that to Leon. I'm impressed you made it to Caldisla. Just a moment. My journal details much of Ansheim's topography. A clockwork metropolis nestled in Harina's sandy bosom. Here, time, above all, is sacred. A massive timepiece crowns the kingdom, fueled as all of Ansheim by the ceaseless currents originating from the Temple of Wind to the south. Quite thorough, isn't it? Sounds as if you've been here before. Perhaps that book of yours is a travel diary? I do seem possessed of a certain wanderlust. The normal sort as well. <laughs> Ooh, perhaps I'll find a train of ex-lovers here <laughs> among the sands. Oh, Wingabo, you scamp. Let's be off. We make south. And then we head south. <laughs> Ooh. All present, Lord Marshal. Save the usual tune, at least. No matter. Let's begin. I trust word has reached you from Kaldisla. The Knights of the Eternian Sky have fallen to the Vestal. I'd not thought the girl so bloodthirsty as all that. It appears she surrounded herself with capable guards. What's more, it pains me to say it, but Idea's whereabouts have been lost amid the chaos. Is this her father? That is no concern of yours. Do not confuse personal matters with your assigned task, Alternus. My apologies, Lord Marshal. 
Not only did the Sky Knights fail, they've given the Vestal wings. Why they didn't simply kill the child, I'll never know. You're uh, alive? Keenly insightful as ever, Victoria. Yes, I fear we've need of the Vestal alive. See? Have we, Victor? Bah! No matter then. If she fled by air, it's a simple matter to track her. She makes for Anshine by necessity. And to the Temple of Wind. Anshine does face upon the Floorshine Sea. Of course. Most of the world's seas have gone putrid, but the inner sea remains navigable. That would offer the airship a berth. But what does she aim to do there? Why return to the crystal now? It smells of some sinister plot. I want to talk. Anshine is the province of the Kammer and Profiteur merchantry. What say you, Lord Marshal? We haven't the leisure of chasing the Vestal across the globe and back. We need her in custody now. Tell the merchantry to employ any means they must. <sighs> Okay. Well, that, uh... That was certainly interesting, if nothing else. Alright, we gotta head south. Alright. Is this not where we're supposed to go? Where are these? Oh. Uh, I think that will wait the fire, if I remember correctly. I hate poison so much. No, just the uh, panther thing. Wow. Nothing to it. Damn, this thing. How much help does this thing have? A lot, apparently. Damn. Okay, I was wondering where the city was. Apprehensive Estel by any means necessary. Seems the Council of Six is growing desperate. Those were their words. I've relayed them to you. My contract states I'm to receive payment for my troubles from you. Then your contract is mistaken. I've heard nothing as you saw. Ah, all these guys. Bah, fine. You'll have your fee. But I am taking this small discount. Only fair as a regular customer, eh? If you must. Still, this Vestal is quite the little monster, no? To have this Sky Knight so undone. If the margin is high enough, I would tackle a behemoth barehanded. But until I see a profit, I'll not move an inch. Business is business, yes? I already hate him. He's like, yeah, I'm not gonna pay you. But, you know... Land of sand and time. Alright, quick chat. And then we can probably save it here in a second. I never expected him to find such a clockwork wonder in the middle of the desert. Yeah, it's great, but this heat. Ugh, I feel gross. It's nighttime, I think. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be, like, very cold now? He was always away, away, uh, laid by a strong, uh, steady breeze, but now... 
when they stopped, the air was stagnant. Uh, well, the water. The contraption drawing up the drinking water? I believe so. I recall hearing it was quite costly last time I was here. Well, it is an impressive machine. Wait, you mean the water? Indeed. I was surprised to learn water came free in Caltissa. Wait, they charge for water here? I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense in the, in the desert you gotta take advantage of all the water you can, right? I've always known it to be something to be bought, so you can imagine my delight. Well, probably on, yes. What are the women here? Are they beautiful? Passionate? Devoted? Or do you suggest a day spot? I'll need a list of good restaurants if you please. Not acceptable. Yeah. That's, that's a good point, on, yes. Very good point. Alright. Uh, no. You can find this friend bot. Thanks. Alright, good friend, friend bot. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. Next episode, we'll, uh, continue fighting our way through the, uh, land of sand and time. And probably fight some mercenaries, it seems like. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on this video. Uh, comment down below on, of all the evil, uh, people we've seen having meetings in this episode, who was your favorite? Like, like, me personally, I think Ultinus looks my favorite, because he just looks like a black knight, and I always like those. Anyway, um, don't forget to go check out my other series on my channel. I've got quite a few up there. I've recently started playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, uh, with Sue. If you guys want to go check that out, it's so much fun. Um, <laughs> I'm having a lot more fun with it than I am with SpeedySP, I'll tell you that much. Anyway, um, also don't forget to go check out Zoo's Twitch channel if you got the time. I'm sure he'd really appreciate the company. And what I would appreciate, personally, is if you would subscribe and join my lines. Just hit that subscribe button. It's not hard. I, I can almost guarantee you, they like it. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode.